Ever since we closed the Nano Shanti house in Berlin, you keep on asking over and over again the same question. Is there another place in Berlin where you can sit down and enjoy proper tea? Well, we found that place and today I'm going to show it to you. Hi guys, this is Gabriele from Nano San, where we share the pleasure of drinking and discovering genuine farm tea. I am on the road and already the first uh, problems here. There is a lot of traffic, apparently there is a demonstration somewhere around and uh, the bus is not uh, the bus is not driving, so I have to go by foot, at least the first stretch. And I'm a bit of an, uh, on a hurry because uh, the tea house I'm going to close in about um, half an hour and I have an appointment with the owner at closure and I hope he will wait for me because now I'm not gonna be on time and I made it I finally made it I am uh, very close to the place I've just to cross uh, the railway here and then I will be there I discovered the place uh, just by chance actually because uh, a friend of mine told me about the tea house just a uh, few days ago and then later on I discovered that uh, I already knew about the owner and actually I even uh, uh, called him one time on the phone but I just was not aware that uh, he had uh, a tea house in town I knew him as a wholesaler for tea actually I'm almost there just the last few steps and here it is <laughs> Make tea no war. Let's just hope that the owner is there. Hi Oliver. Hey, hi Gabriel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi. How are you? Oh, fine, thanks. Thanks for uh, waiting me. Oh, thanks that you are coming here. Oh, Jesus, these got these glasses. Oh. We, we will drink the tea outside because I don't want to stay with this okay, mask yeah, all glass. the time in. Yeah, my yeah, glasses. Okay. No. What are you doing here? Sorry? What are you doing? Oh, I, I prepared the red oolong from Taiwan. Oh, a red oolong. So if, if you like, we can drink the red oolong. Do you like? That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I will tell you a little I, story I about the red oolong. I prepared for us. Oh, so nice. please. Wait a moment and then uh, we can start to drink tea. That's the preparation of our tea table, nice! It is one of the first sunny day in Berlin and so we use the opportunity to sit outside and have a tea outside. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's great actually that you have this uh, boiler here. Uh, you said before it was working with gas, right? Yes, it's with gas, yeah. Yeah, and I think it would be a good idea. I bought recently one to be used with uh, uh, carbon, pieces of carbon and yeah, yeah, food, yeah. but it's a lot of maintenance actually yeah. to do that. But oh, yeah, I found it in uh, Taipei. In Taipei, okay. In Taipei, yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, Linz Ceramic Studio. Yeah, very really nice. And thank you for setting up everything. Oh. What we have here? This is carrot cake. Carrot cream, cream, yeah. So when I open the tea house, so I make carrot cake by myself. But now I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I bought it in a in a bakery. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> well, you know, we are we are still in COVID time, so actually yeah. the tea house is closed for sitting in, mm. but hopefully soon will be open. Um, so speaking about the tea house, what happened? As I told you, a friend of mine just Annette just mentioned yes. that uh, you have this tea house here. And when did you actually open the tea house? Because I wasn't aware of it. Yeah, uh, I opened it uh, three years ago. So three years ago, so in yeah, 2018. 18, 18, yeah. And uh, because um, before I uh, sold the tea, or I imported the tea, and I sold it only for tea shops. In fact, that I, I knew you, I knew only as a wholesaler. Yes, that's, that's right. Yeah. But sometimes I had some a little bit expensive teas, 
So and uh, so I thought I have to show the the customer the tea. Okay. Uh, to how to how to drink ah, it. So okay. because nobody is so yeah. Why it's so expensive? And so it's difficult if, if you to find the wholesaler, someone that really can sell yeah, the tea. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So then I <laughs> before I I met all my customers in my flat. In my apartment, really? okay. and mm, sometimes not so nice. Too. That's, that's, <laughs> uh, well, that's the way to start. I will tell you how I started. Yeah. Uh, I, I started giving uh, tea classes and tea seminars yeah. during my business trip. I was going, for example, to Stockholm for yeah. a business trip, and I was uh, giving flyer, making uh, reserving a room in a cafe, yeah. and then having the people coming in the next day and giving a free seminar about tea. Okay. That's the way yeah. I started, and then I thought I have to do something more about that and mm. building it up. So, yeah. well, let's try. You say this is a red oolong. This is yeah, yeah. May I open the box? Of course. <laughs> So and I will show you the box uh, to the yes, camera. No problem. Basically. Yeah, please. Oh, it is a rolled. Yeah, it's rolled rolled oolong. Oolong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here it is. And uh, you say this is um, a black tea, right? From um, from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. That you sourced it yourself. Sorry. Where you sourced the tea yourself. You bought it yourself. Yes. Here? Yes. 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 Of course. Um, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's not every wholesaler that go. No. to the country of origin themselves. No, <laughs> yeah, for me it was very important to know how to produce the tea. So that's why I worked mm -hmm. in Taiwan for three months mm -hmm. in the tea field mm -hmm. and on this tea farm. Oh, really? Yeah. So wow. and then I was um, I was so surprised how to make this tea, and then I once I I, I worked in the night. Because uh, in the morning you know it, in the mm -hmm. morning it's uh, picking up, mm -hmm. then it's uh, preparing the tea and in the night it's finishing the tea. Yes. So, and <laughs> so the whole day. And so the, the tea farmer uh, told me, oh, I have to go to another uh, mm -hmm. village. And it was 1,700 meters in the mountain. And then you have to do all the job and yourself. Yeah, please, please do it. And they said, no, 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 I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> so, but then he... He came back four hours later. Yeah, wow, <laughs> nice. But you know, that's also something we have in common because it's the way I started. Back in 2010, I went to Yunnan and I stayed at the tea farm and I did tea with them just to learn how it is. So yeah. you did that in Taiwan, I did that yeah. in China. <laughs> but, and when did you do that? And 2013. 2013, okay, well, 13 and 14, both. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah similar yeah. time yeah. when we start. So let, let's, uh, let's ah. try this one. I'm really curious, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um, and in fact, actually, we have uh, uh, just uh, bought also a red oolong from Taiwan ah, yeah. for the first time. Which which area? Um, I don't remember now. I should ah, check. Mm. I should check. Um, and uh, we have two um, Taiwan black tea. Yeah. We have this one and uh, the um, which was the other one? Um, the red ruby. Yeah, the yeah, ruby yeah, yeah. Oolong, The classic, mm. yeah, ruby oolong. So the ruby one is meant for the website, and this one is meant for a private collection. So I bought just half a kilo for myself. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> uh, we will share it also with some of the customers that they want to join uh, mm. our private collection series. Mm. So I'm curious to see if it tastes similar. Yeah. So one moment. So yeah, no, no problem. Oh, on. thank you. Mm. It smells similar already. Mm. Nice. So in a... Uh, when you open the, the tea house, uh, you said you wanted this contact with the customer so that you yeah. can present to the final customer your tea. And uh, um, what uh, what can we find here? Which type of tea do you mm. offer? Yeah, the first is I offer the tea what I import. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I import from Japan and from Taiwan. Okay. So, but now with a tea shop, so I have neighbors, and <laughs> so I have to offer even the black tea normal standard black tea from india, india. Mm -hmm. yeah and uh, other green tea from china mm -hmm. and herbal herbal very yeah. very important <laughs> well, sometimes the custom uh, the the neighbor come and ask oh do you have some herbal tea blah blah blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. so maybe they think i'm a pharmacy but <laughs> 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 yeah so herbal tea is also a point i have yeah. to say there, we had a lot of requests in the tea house for herbal tea, but not online. Ah, yeah. Do you also have an online shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have. Yeah. So yeah. we'll put uh, the link of uh, the, the website in the description below, and also the uh, Google Map link so that you can find the place 
if you are in Berlin or you come here. We are in Prenzlauerberg, uh, very close to, is that uh, Greifswald? Greifswalder Straße, and Greifswalder it's very Straße. close to the, the park um, Friedrichshain. Friedrichshain, uh, yeah. Volkspark, Volkspark Friedrichshain. Friedrichshain. Yeah. Anyway, I'll put the link in the description below. It's basically, you can say it's even walking distance from the very center of Berlin. We are very central. Mm, nice. Thank you. So the first is a little bit uh, soft. It will be better or stronger mm -hmm. after. But just to get to get the first uh, yeah. because I mean it's a rolled oolong, so yeah, it had to open. Mm -hmm. They have to it have to open up. So your focus, you say, is Taiwan and Japanese because mm -hmm. those are the tea that you source yourself. It means that you also travel to Japan. Yes, I and worked in Japan. Uh, you too, did the yeah. same in Japan yeah. as you did in Taiwan, and, okay. and for three months because the tourist visa is three months. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's similar to Elsa, who is taking care of yeah, our yeah. Japanese series because she has also been there for three months in a farm mm, yeah. yeah nice and for me it was very important to see the difference between Japan and and mm -hmm. Taiwan mm -hmm. it's total different mm -hmm. it's um, a processing but, but, uh, ah, the process okay yeah. the process of the tea. yes okay from that perspective yes because I always seen from a cultural perspective I've always seen Taiwan as like in between Japan Japan mm. and China, you yeah, know, from yeah. a cultural perspective. Yeah, but yeah. tea, they have. The tea uh, is more Chinese. It's more uh, Chinese, and okay, it process. started from China for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I saw that um, inside, uh, all around the table, you have also some bookshelves. Yes. <laughs> so what? Uh, um, what's the point having uh, two large bookshelves in a tea house? Um, Two points. <laughs> the first point. <laughs> in my first life, I was for an I was a bookseller. You were so a bookseller. I had a bookshop and antiquariat okay. in in Berlin. In Berlin, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this was my first life. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the second is, um, I think it's nice to have because I, I had my my tea room in at home mm. in my apartment. So and I like to transfer this feeling. In, okay. in this tea house mm -hmm. so the, the customer can come can the guests can sit can read the book or can yeah enjoy the time to have a cozy atmosphere let's yes. say and like yeah. at home or like at home yeah yeah that's nice and so this is what i learned in uh, taiwan my taiwanese uh, tea master she had a, a tea room in the ground floor in her house so ah, and okay. it was similar so, so many friends come mm -hmm. and sit down and talking. So it was not like a restaurant or, a, or yeah. like a tea house. You have to pay just talking, like a living room where yeah. you would uh, um, you would uh, have your friends coming over and you would offer tea to them. Yeah. So in a similar fashion, is the tea house right? Is the place yeah. to meet and to stay together. Yeah. That's that's nice, yeah. And I saw, in fact, that uh, on um, you have some regular customer. I mean, you opened just recently and just before COVID, so yeah, a hard time. But you also have a small shelf um, with uh, the cups of the customers, <laughs> the regular customers, so those yeah. that come and can bring out of their cup. Yeah. And this is an idea that I took originally from a friend of mine in China, mm -hmm. because she had exactly the same in her tea house, mm -hmm. and we did the same in our tea house yeah. here before. So there are really a lot of commonalities. Yeah. that makes me feeling a tiny bit back at home but you had a very nice tea house so it's it was yeah. it was a nice tea house for sure yeah yeah, yeah. it's uh, we, it we put a lot of effort and yeah. uh, that's mainly also because of uh, Michaela because she uh, she's the, the original graphic designer mm. of the um, of Nano Shan and uh, she's also very good in interior design yeah. Yeah. so she helped a lot yeah I think I have a, a good sense of aesthetics but I'm not able to render it I don't mm. know, it, for me it's not that easy to really think about uh, looking in an empty room and understand how to make it nice, yeah, you yeah. know. Mm. But yeah, that uh, was her big yeah. contribution. Yeah. I tried to make it like uh, I feel good because I stay here, uh, I, I'm here 10 hours per day, so <laughs> I have to feel good in my uh, Yeah, you have to be room. comfortable. Yeah. You, you are more here than at <laughs> home. So. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Mm. Mm. And how do you manage actually to travel to the countries of origin for tea mm. now that you have a tea shop? Do you close it or it's complicated? Mm, yes, I, a little bit because uh, now the tea shop is three years old. So mm -hmm. I travel maybe around 10 years. Mm. So uh, now my, yeah, my travel is not so much. And last year 
the COVID year, mm -hmm. I couldn't go to Japan. All oh, right, yeah. So last time it was 2019, mm -hmm. I was in Japan. And yeah, I, I will close the tea house if I if go needed to, to, to go to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the next, um, I like to go to Korea. Mm -hmm. So because I have no Korean tea, and my first travel for tea was in Korea. Oh, the very yeah, first, okay. Yeah, the very first uh, in Bosong and so this area. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's difficult to find uh, exporter in Korea. Mm. Yeah, so for me. So you want difficult. to go there and. Uh, yeah. And the, the Germans don't know so much the Korean green tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, for, because there is not so much offer also. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's, that's one of the things. And I've noticed that you have also an, uh, an organic. Uh, uh, logo on your yeah. uh, on your window. Yeah. Is that uh, um, do you import organic tea yes. or just those that you buy by wholesaler? Can we make a snip? Yeah, you have a cast. Yeah. Oh, there is the customer inside. <laughs> so we do a small <laughs> break and then we start over again. So we're back. That's what <laughs> happened when you have a tea house. Actually, oh, the, I'm the, so sorry. <laughs> that's not a problem. You know, the, the, the tea house was actually already closed, but yeah. we forgot to close the door. That's right, correct. Let's make sure we have some yeah. tea, please. Yeah. Of course. So it's really tasty, and it reminds me a lot of the, the red oolong uh, that uh, uh, we sourced it as well. So this year, you could not travel there, I could not travel there, and uh, so we had uh, a friend sourcing it for us. Yeah. Yeah, now my my tea master in in uh, Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So she uh, sent me tea. Yeah, we talk because now we can talk by Skype or by other. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the only way. Say. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Which tea do you like the most, Japanese oh, or God. Taiwan? I mean, that's a I'm question that sure. I, I get all the time, so I also yeah. have to make it to you. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> but I'm not sure, because uh, for me, in the morning, I drink uh, Japanese sencha. So. Mm. And then, uh, du during the day, I change to yeah, oolong mm. or... So the sencha in the morning is for, morning. for the taste or for the kick? I don't know, because I start uh, my... my Tea way with sencha, with green tea, ah, really okay. green tea. Okay. So maybe this is why I, I don't know. <laughs> but tell me, tell me about yeah. that. Actually, your 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 tea way. How how did you get yeah. into tea? I mean, you said you were selling books in a bookstore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How it happened? No, the the tea way becomes earlier, but uh, mm. it. <laughs> in, in the early time, it was not really a tea way. It was just drinking tea, just drinking and, tea. And when I was very young, uh, 14 years old, mm. so I made tea, yeah. very simple tea. But my classmates and all my friends told me, "Oh, your tea is exact and uh, is, is the best tea." What really we drank? But it was very cheap and very simple tea. Okay, so, so it was I the preparation, think, maybe. I think it, it, it was, yeah. Okay. So no tea bag. Yeah. Open pot. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that was the start. So yeah. early. Okay. And then I like after my. I keep on taking your yes. cake. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on my um, first book life, <laughs> so, um, I drank a lot of tea, but then it, when it was finished. So I like to know, okay, um, what is tea in the original country? So that's why I go to Korea okay. and made uh, a little bit the tea study because the mm. um, Korean uh, uh, government tea school. Mm -hmm. So I had a friend in Korea and she gave me a course in this tea school. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. In English she gave? No, in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> she translated, but the, the teacher was uh, Korean. Ah, and she was helping you? And she was mm. helping me, yeah. And um, she, <laughs> she made a video, but also shameful when I see, when I see now. <laughs> I mean, don't but tell me, when I'm in China, <laughs> that only during my last trip, I was really able to get along without a translator yeah. next oh. to me, an interpreter. But, um, but not really when I was uh, negotiating tea. For that, I really need someone to help me because you know when you start speaking about money and uh, yeah. um, you really need someone that knows better the language. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I understand that. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, it developed by himself. I thought. Mm. Yeah, more and more I know a little bit more, and then I saw I know nothing. 
So I have to learn more. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I see. And tell me one thing uh, that pop up now to my mind. So, um, do you do you have the offer that people can prepare the tea themselves if they yes. want to do gongfu cha or Japanese tea? Mm, yeah. So if uh, someone will uh, order a Japanese tea, mm -hmm. I give them the kyushu, okay. the cooling pot, yeah, and uh, the small sand watch. Yeah. And a small paper, and it's written the instruction how to oh, make the how tea. to prepare yeah. the tea. Okay, that's so nice. So not yeah. everybody know it. So um, if they are new and they know nothing, so sometimes I tell them, okay, the first infusion is only one minute. Please <laughs> concentrate on the sand watch. <laughs> so, but then five minutes or ten minutes. I don't oh know. God! <laughs> and then they say, oh, this tea is really bitter. <laughs> I see. So and if the people want to do gongfucha like you are doing now, that's yeah. also an option. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Course. I have uh, two teas uh, in my menu. Mm -hmm. it, it's written gongfucha style, ah, and, so, and then I okay. prepare and okay. I, I tell him just uh, yeah, how to do, how to prepare it. But most time they have to do it by himself. Okay. And if I would ask you, because we have to, we have to give you something more than what is written on the menu. <laughs> so if I ask the owner, okay, let's say I come here and I tell you, Oliver, just forget about the herbal tea, yes. forget about your neighborhood <laughs> and people that don't know very okay. much about tea, forget about the price, just tell me which is the tea that you think is really the best in your shop, mm. the gem, the gem that you say, you know, Gabriele, if there is one tea you should drink is this one. Yes. I know, I don't make, I don't make simple questions, but very difficult. So one of my favorite is the red oolong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and then I have another one. It's H3 tea. Mm -hmm. And yeah, maybe this is from H3 Taiwan. H3 tea, tea. because uh, the this uh, tea trees is from the 40s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And still in the garden in Taiwan. And the Japanese they uh, they uh, prepare this field or the mm -hmm. garden, the tea garden. And this is still the same garden, and um, yeah, this is very dark and multi. H like the letter, H. No, 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 aged. Aged. Ah, oh, aged. sorry, my English. No, is no, 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 I didn't God. get that. Age three. Okay. Yeah. Age. How do you call that thing? Age three. T. Ah, age three three. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, now. Sorry, guys. I, now I got the story. <laughs> and it is a tree for, uh, from the uh, from the forties. Yeah. Or it is a tea garden or a single tree. Um. The single tree, a single tree. Yeah, it's wow. very old. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, because uh, my this is oh this is organic. Are oh, you ask me about organic? Oh yes, the break. right. Yeah. yeah. So in this tea garden of this my tea master and tea producer in Taiwan, mm -hmm. she made uh, on, only organic teas mm. because she think about uh, this is very healthy, and we cannot put something chemical or mm -hmm. fertilizer. And where is she in Taiwan? In Nanto. In Nando. The, mm -hmm. She lives in Puli, but uh, <coughs> the yeah, the garden is around mm -hmm. Puli, uh, Sun Moon Lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this yeah I, don't, I don't know those places very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. Go, but yeah. yeah, but Nanto in the center of uh, yeah, Taiwan. Nanto is, is mm. kind of yeah. Spain. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but those other I wasn't yeah. I wasn't aware so, of. and um, this is why the garden is still uh, healthy because yep. it's no chemical, no nothing. Oh, it's nice. just the nature. And in the garden is the uh, orange tree. And uh, other fruits, mm -hmm. all mix it together. With the mix it, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I can definitely recommend you the red oolong if you come over. And then we have the aged tree tea, that um, <laughs> is what Oliver suggests you. Six days a week, right? Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a lot of work. Yes, it is, but um, yeah, it's a nice work to work with tea. Yeah, and with yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I think that this is uh, very good because this is um, it's my job, mm -hmm. it's my love, and it's my life. And, it, and yeah. that, so that, that's it's nice to share. I think. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. So, guys. Now you know the answer to the question that many of you have asked us uh, where to find uh, a tea house in Berlin where you can sit and enjoy tea in the same fashion you were doing in the Nano Shanti house where it was open. 
thanks a lot Oliver oh. actually for opening the tea house <laughs> yeah and uh, for following up mm. on that and uh, for sharing all this yeah I have to say thank you you come here and my pleasure yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have to help me yes. if you have enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up yes of course and to subscribe our channel of course thank you very much and I will see you at the next one bye bye, -bye. Recht lecker. Oh mein Gott, das ist das schlechteste Video, was du bis jetzt gemacht hast. Ja, war super. Oh nein. War super. Naja, du hast viel zu schneiden. Ah, ich will gar nicht schneiden.